Hello, and welcome back to more Wing of Replay Review Analysis. Analysis. Today we're doing Wing of Versus Set again on 1v1 Ardeans. Now, this is a map that, if you remember on the replay review, this is back a super old one I played. At least I have to, like, well, I think one of my first few actual review videos we're doing on this map. Uh, this is the matchup. Let's go over. Let's get, at least get in here and see it. So we're playing this map again. This time we're playing on Fog. I think we... I don't remember if we played Fog last time. But our map... We're playing with two COs. We're playing Kindle versus Andy. Kindle is... Cheating. But not rip, Not fully, but... Feels like it sometimes. Anyways. Kindle's all her units get plus 40 attack on urban terrain. So urban terrain counts, I believe, as lab. It, cities... HQs, bases, air, harbors, airports, all that good stuff. All that stuff, she'll get a plus 40% attack increase. Her little power, Urban Blight, will do 3 damage to everything sitting on urban terrain. Which is terrible and annoying. And her superpower is, uh, I think it's High Society, it's not very amazing. It's, you get a good power upgrade on the attack, and you also upgrade each, each city you own, you get like plus 3% attack increase. Which is pretty okay, but Urban Blight's just kind of so much better. And we're fighting Andy, who has no day-to-day -day abilities. Level 1 is Hyper Repair, or 2 HP to all his units. And he gets a plus 10, plus 10 bonus. Everyone gets plus 10, plus 10 bonus, because just he gets the daily bonus. And his suit power is Hyper Upgrade, which is... Plus 5 HP, plus 1 movement, and I think plus like 20 or 30 attack percent? I forget the exact percentage for Andy's thing on that, but I know it's up a good chunk. He gets a lot of good benefits out of it, which is a pretty good power. Uh, so this should be interesting enough, because honestly, I'm curious to see this, because, like, Andy can't use... So that makes me salty. That he gets the plus one movement? Because <laughs> I'm curious, because I'm thinking, like, the problem, the problem I see with this matchup is Andy's not going to get a crazy amount out of his repair-based powers, I don't think. At least we're countering Kindle. At least if we're talking power v power, because Kindle's power is going to attack a lot of his units on his, his own city, so he's just going to have to pay to repair him anyways. I imagine he's still going to get a good chunk out of his benefit, but like at least talking power to power, it definitely feels Kindle is going to attack him pretty good. Anyways, let's begin here. Two infantry going up here. So I believe I'm rushing for this space over here, and set with his pre-deployed infantry heads over here. Where does this thing go? He's going for the airport first. I don't agree. I think I'd go, I still vote the base. But then again, he might have not seen it because he played on phone, which isn't the easiest to see. Moving on out. Yep, I go right for that base. I want it immediately. Did he go out for more? Yeah. So the first couple turns are fairly obvious, except for the weird, like, go for the airports before the base kind of thing, but... Who knows? There we go, now he's going for the base. I mean, he personally would have done that in a different order because bases pay in for themselves on M3, they're fine. There's many base popping. I'm surprised he didn't go for the harbor. Start getting more income earlier, I personally would have, I don't know. Hmm. I can't say I personally get what their strategy is right now. More bases. So my actual strategy I have on this map is going to be pretty funny. Well, a little funny, at least to me. Because we have... Little dots. Yeah, that's always a good pick. Now, it's definitely easier to get creative with like a thing when you're listening to its OST. But like a thing, I remember distinctly on this map, what my strategy was, is, my, is the best strategy in all the land. What are you doing? What are you doing? You said. There's a base right here. We just did this. Did you not capture this base this whole match? Did he seriously not get this? No, there's no fucking way. There is no fucking way he didn't capture this base at some point. My man has played this game way longer, long enough to at least know. Capture your fucking bases, my man. What is happening? But yeah, I'm going to be putting out some mechs, because like, oh, there's some mountain terrain here, and I got two airports for them. Probably going to build a transport with it. Like, some mechs are good. I'm just flat. Okay, yeah, he goes back and starts capping it now. Good. But that's just terrible. He lost his advantage. He could have had that ready. What is happening? 
I'm so confused. Like, you were on the base. Did he not see the base? When he landed on there? I'm so confused. I don't get it. Unless it could have been... Unless it was Advance Wars by Web glitching out, and, like, you were, just were not given vision of that area, so it wouldn't let you do it, because I... But you just refreshed the page. What the fuck? I have to believe something glitched out for why he didn't get that base. I I have to believe something that. that that's, that's the only acceptable... That's the only answer I will accept. I will be too angry otherwise. Building more infantry. I do find it funny we both produced an early mech. I'm just flabbergasted that he gave up that city. That he just didn't start capping that base. I, there has to be. I don't know. And the problem is that we're playing Fog. We can't, like chat with each other very easily. That's why I like playing standard lives on my friends, just so we can actually talk about the game as it goes through. But Foggy is fun as well. We should be getting into engagements soon. Keep my re -key back a little bit, instead of rushing it into danger, because I'm like, hey, let me leave behind my infantry, because even though it's still early, I could see potentially a tank getting popped out early if they really wanted to, but... Here's how I see. Get the double infantry over there. Moving my mechs up. We up. Speaking of tanks, we actually got a tank over here right now. Instead went for the two recons, which makes a lot of sense. Because this is a fairly big map, so you have to use the recons to get a lot of vision in this. Checking out the city, getting ready to capture it. Uh, I don't agree with the calm tower capture. Honestly, what I probably would have thought to done is move this infantry out, like out here in one of these plains. Or like over in this forest, over like near one, two, three, out into the forest. They move up and then move this guy over here to cap. You can cap this. And then go after that, maybe, but I guess he's got this guy here for this capture, but he moves this guy over here, which I guess goes here. But I I don't feel like you need to rush the comm tower this early right now. I think he was thinking he could make it over there, but I guess not. Yeah, I feel like it's too early to be rushing the getting the communications tower. Not because like it's completely a terrible idea, but just like, do you need it this early? There's no combat going on right now. You should be focusing on the money. Which I know is very silly for me to criticize anyone's capture game considering how trash my capture game is a lot of the time. But still. Moving on, because yeah, I'm covering, I'm going for two cities. And I got my recon here to cover, but... Can't do much if there's a tank where that mech gets in range, but then again, I can also probably, I'll probably end up first shotting that mech if I see it. At least the one good thing about the recon. Got another tank. Not a very good tank location, if I'm being honest. Really, the tanks don't need to spawn here. This is like infantry fodder fodder. Because the tank has to make this long one, two... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it takes a turn and an extra change to get like over here and to contest. But I guess it's similar enough over here, but I still feel like is you just also really limit your options here because you're forced to go to the right. Because because if you I don't know what the hell brain function. It feels very inconvenient because of how far back it is. It should be for should be spawned in a little further up. See this capturing going. Yeah, his recon out. We can see a infantry, which is interesting. We can't see my Riki. I should probably update the game on the stream, actually. I'll do that after this set. Combat should be beginning soonish. But it's just some infantry combat, which I guess that be that does mean going for the comp tower is not a bad option right now, but I prefer getting the income early. On these like big maps. Now you see his infantry and his recon, so I'm just like, let's leave it alone for a bit, because I don't know what's in that base. I think I'll leave it alone. <laughs> I boost off Black Boat, love to see it. <laughs> Build more tanks, more captures. Drop it off with these two on the bottom here, which will help out. And I build a transport copter. So my strategy for this map, I decided to do, even though it's a gigantic map, I knew I was gonna make transport copters because just there's so many infantry gonna spawn in anyways. I decided let's try it a little more expensive. This is a map where I decided to mech spam. Move forward, see that they're capping over there, so I'm like, eh, I can't interrupt it, so let's see if I can keep moving up and steal something important. 
I think that was this infantry's goal, is to try to steal the comm tower away from them. Like a stealth mission, but... We'll see how well that works out. The forest finds an infantry. I see, man, I'm out reeked up here. This is terrible. Moving up. Captures, and unfortunately that gets in my way, which sucks. He's right now where he can see me, which is definitely... I need to get some more recons out, honestly. How many... Did you see this man have four recons again? This man has four recons again. That's hilarious. Zed likes his Rikis. They get extra freaky. Oh, not recon. I'm recon violence. It's not very helpful. I, I send the infantry. I was like, eh, I'm here. Get some damage. Maybe incentivize the recon to say so I can go gun it down with my tank next turn. Start capturing because I couldn't see up there. I'm gonna lose this thing right here. Get a little boost with my with my battle with my blah, 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 transport copter. And now I got a mech up there for next turn to start building up. Go for the shot. This is not gonna end very well for this infantry, if I'm being 100% with you. This infantry is gonna probably die, guaranteed. Capture the lab for no reason, because the labs don't give anything on advantage of my web if you don't put units behind them. What they've definitely been getting tempted to do is just put units behind the lab more often. Just be a complete a-hole, put infantry behind the lab, you have to capture the lab before you can build more infantry. You're so fucked. My Riki! This is my coat. Yep, I was not in that city very easily. Not, uh, not with the behind two infantry, you're gonna get smacked. You now, is the tank coming in? Hey, they see my recon. My infantry's over here. And they also see that I have a tank to ward them off to tell them to get the hell back. Mech on re infantry violence, never good. Okay, so he takes the advantage of the city. And he gets the kill. Lame. But I do have the income lead, so let's see what I do with this. Weird capture, but okay. Because, like, you know they're going to come after you, right? There's two of them. They're going to probably get two shot. Just grid. Go hit or revive my black boat. Now, this is actually pretty smart to leave his recon on here. Not only for the terrain defense it also prevents me from taking the shot with my re with my tank on the city and of course i can't get anything on top of it i don't think do i get anything on top of it this is question this is very questionable i don't fully agree with this of shooting down there's a re well i do get wanting to shoot the riki because it's right there and it's like ooh, free damage and don't get that but those, those are a tank up here, but I guess I don't... Yeah, I don't know about that tank, to be fair now, so that actually makes sense. Besides, I got another tank coming up to cover it. And I also put a mech backwards to defend it, okay. Honestly, a forward-running mech wouldn't have been the worst option, because they'd either take it down the mech, or they'd come after me, but... Eh, give or take, honestly. I'm thinking about this. Because, let's see, we have these things. This thing can clearly see the mech if I spawn it, even if I spawned it down here. And these two infantry can come whack it for a bunch of damage, but... Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's actually a smarter play to leave it back here. So that way the two infantry can't just come kill my mech. Otherwise they would have just got shot down. Finally building another recon. And a bopter, I've been needing that. Of course, thankfully they go through both helicopters around the same time. Moving on out. Guard in the city with a mech behind it too, which is annoying. Hmm. Odd choice, I would have... 
I personally would have finished off the mech. I personally would have finished off this infantry down here. And then move my tank down here to swing on this. Because I don't know about the second tank in existence right now. I don't think. Oh no, they do. No, they do. The recon can see that. So I guess that makes sense. But still. Tank to infantry. Back capturing. Surprised. Waste of a tank, but whatever. I do have the second tank there to guard it already, so I'm in the good, decent enough position to waste on that kind of thing. Get a free thousand while I'm there. Go to capture, shoot down the freaking Riki. Again, waste of a tank, honestly. This infantry could have dealt with this. What was this infantry doing? Nothing really. It's just gonna go hide in this forest. Um, tower. That was very much a bad play on my end, I can see it. At least I could have done that better. It's not the worst things than sliced bread, but I could have done that way better. I yeah, build a transport cop to get my infantry out of there and just have more transports. I wanted to mech spam on this map. I said it's mech spam in time, baby. Uh, review, whatever, more mechs. I genuinely want to see how much I spent on mechs by the end of this match. There goes my one HP here, which sucks, but not the worst. Kills my infantry, the mechs moving on, and then they got the tanks sitting on that. Which is very important for me. Mech spam is indeed best spam. I have so many mechs. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five mechs, that's terrible. Yeah, he's got some Balcopters going. I should have really built an anti-air by now, I think. Even if I didn't see anything, even with all, the, with all these infantry around, it would be worth it to have an anti-air running around to deal with them. But I'm like, nah, I don't need an anti-air. I don't see nothing to fly up for. By the time you see something to fly up forward, though, Wingy, you're gonna... you. You're going to be really far behind. That Balcopter's going to call it a havoc. Take out the recon. Go for the eyes. The Capriche is questionable, but eh, Mech got a nice hit there. And that... I can't believe I... There we go. We finally see the Balcopter. It's like, oh shit, I moved my copter up. This is bad. Build an anti-air in... Not the best position. I mean, it's gonna help. It's gonna be more in the middle, but still, that's not a great position for the anti-air. Go for two shots on that tank in the city. Of course, they don't kill it. Oh, this is bad. That mech's gonna get a really cheesy shot. Never mind. I gun it down. I'm like, no, no mech violence on my tank. Our incomes are actually evening out, which is scary. Well, evening out, I'm still ahead 3,000, but still. Oh, vehicle turn, okay. Two tanks and... an entire. I go there just to check the... <laughs> I think I wanted to see if I could just for fun fire on the black boat with my infantry. Try to build some charge. Even though that wouldn't have been nearly enough to get me charged, it probably would have helped him more, but... And he doesn't really use his normal power all that often. And he's way more of a walking two power. There we go. The Balcopter's causing trouble. Because I don't have an anti-air hero available. There goes some of my units. Tanks in the city. Killing my tank. That's really unfortunate turn, but... I also have a very big unit lead, to be fair. Because I actually got my base earlier, which is really much helping out. And that tank is sitting right next to some mechs. And he's like, I I think I might actually give up the capture and go kill that tank. Which feels silly, but I don't remember. <laughs> Not covering the cities, and now I but I have enough for urban blight now, which is gonna be helpful. Capture, capture, actually capture. And then urban blights! Fair amount. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it should hit bases, I think, right? Does it not hit bases? Am I actually crazy? Okay, no, it did. Good. 
We got a capture, capture, urban void. Some at a fourth thousand, five thousand dollar income. Not there, taking my shots, even if they're not from cities. It's still worth it to take your shots with your mechs while here. Get a nice shot on that bopter. Bopped it. Take it down with the, with the tank, which isn't the best course of action, but it works. Plant air up, and more mechs! I need more of them! Look at this bullshit. It's <laughs> fucking hell. Like, like, really? Oh, that's disgusting. There we go, we completely moved out the left side there. And he doesn't have any, like, good vehicles over here either right now, he's just got a recon. Which can cause him trouble, but not the biggest thing. Move my infantry up, tanks moving out. We got more mechs spam down here. How many mechs am I at now? I'm at six. It's growing. The number is growing. It's terrifying. Super infantry and a battlecopter. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Four nice shots. Defends the recon pretty well, I like it. It is 9 HP tanks in there. My mech survives! I love the 10% extra defense. My tank does not, unfortunately, though. Question is though, does he pop hyper upgrade now, or does he wait till the next turn to do it? <laughs> if that's the case, I need to focus on kills right now. I'll be honest, even though this game like just finished, I don't remember a lot of it. Hey, it pops after hyper upgrade at the end. Fair enough. That's a, little, that's a fair amount of value. That's a lot of value we got out of that. It is unfortunate to shoot at the mech. Trying to capture his city away from him to continue my income lead. Kill. Kill. I should have probably actually shot with my 9 HP copter first and then moved it up. But I think only my 9 HP copter could reach his copter. Double mechs on him. Just going for kills. Grabbing the kills while I got the chance and he can't build the charge. <laughs> More mechs for the pile. <laughs> Mech party! Am I breaking my green screen by stepping like this? No good. I built a rockets, which, interesting enough, I got to the music. Flexing my high income, and I'm like, I don't think he has that much income. Now, this is a good play on paper if I. But there's a tank right here, so I'm gonna get smacked back at least a little bit, but I'm getting some kills on everything that can actually hurt me over here. Anti air is finally in play! You should have built that way earlier, Winget. But no, you decided I wanna be cool and spam mechs. Yep, there goes that tank, unfortunate. My Bopta, no! Orange Bee up, try to put some use. <sighs> Take six, that's terrible. There goes my thing, and he goes with the cap. Smart man, knows how to work. Feels the battlecopter over there. Two battlecopters! And base skips away some units. Never good. Another Urban Blight, which I guess, though, I suppose that isn't the worst option, especially if you know Urban Blight's coming. Not build a ton of units, because that just reduces Kindle's ability to tax your income. Which is actually a fairly smart play, but it also lowers your unit count a bunch by that, which I don't fully like. So tanks coming out. 
Kill that tank, move it up. Move it over to the forest. Get trapped by a thing, unfortunately. Kill their battle copter, kill that infantry. Then the rockets slow truck forward, which sucks. Transport copters out to transfer your things. With maximum movement, by the way, because one, two, one, two, you love to see it. And my anti are in the forest. I don't think they were watching. Kindle, this is absolutely disgusting, by the way. I know you get a power bonus for being a city, but like. A one shot? Oof. Completely remove that tank from play. That's terrible. Tank, mech, tank. Battlecopter! Well, we go again. I will say, a small hidden bonus I get with using Kindle's Urban Light is actually taxing his Black Boat a bunch. Because the Black Boat doesn't get repaired on the HQ. But I just get free damage on it, so whenever I do go for an eventual HQ cap, I'll already have that thing damaged and quicker to go down. Which is actually super strong. Alright, so let's see what you do with those extra funds you got as you move your units back. Ooh, please kill that infantry so I can get a shot with a back. Please, in my dirt. <laughs> Why'd you base skip again? That's terrible. I'm so mad. Can you tell my voice of how I'm so mad about it? Jeez, I have such an income lead. That's terrible. Oh, wait, I need to see the shot. Yee, yeah, buddy. So many mechs! They're coming over the mountains! There are so many of them! Eight mechs. They're almost closing in on the same amount of mechs as infantry. That's terrible. I think, yeah, this is pretty much showing that one. He doesn't really have anything to like keep up with me over here, especially with this like income disadvantage. But then again, I don't have a great offense forward wise. There's not entirely that, but pops a hyper repair. Eh. I can't say I agree, but that's just me. Leave my mech alone! <laughs> I'm collecting them with the seven infinity mechs. We'll rule them all. Shoot their eyes. Nice shots over here. Back to the mech to go take. Ah, ah, it's always so funny to me. Yeah, pretty much coming in wrong. Being very reckless with my mech over there because I'm just like, oh, I got a billion of them. Be fine. Shoot down the recon, you can't say I agree with that. Tank, infantry, infantry, tank, infantry, mech. Two battle copters, not bad. Good capture help try to reduce some of that income gap, but. I think it's just unfortunately too a little too late. I think I've snowballed too hard. <laughs> Tries with a kill on the battle cop of that's funny. Do I seriously go okay good, I don't go for high society. I was like, please tell me I don't waste my time with that. Shoot him, shoot him, moving on up. Move more mechs out. <laughs> Kill the battlecopter, not bad. Just annihilate that infantry. It doesn't deserve to exist anymore. Ah, it's fucked. Shoot the Riki. Get too freaky. Moving my mech out again. Going up. Capture. Be capture. 
the best capture rate, but either way, we're at such an advantage. Who really cares? Like, at this point, I'm just doing cleanup. Hey, I built a Neotank. Cool. Said counter attack. There really ain't much left he can do. It's just kind of a matter of... Not, not if he's going to lose. It's a matter of when. Got another hyper upgrade if he feels like using it. I don't think he does, though. Getting some units out there. I'm taking some shots. Popping Urban Blight. Can't find more stuff. Got my fire out there. Fun. Just to lock down his air stuff. Attacking the black boat. <laughs> I built an APC to refill my transport copter because I don't feel like bringing it all the way back. I actually think my transport copter was running terribly out of gas at that point. How much did it have? Hey, yeah, it was pretty much out of gas, so. I built the APC for more unit transport and just to refill my thing. Build a bomber. Still not popping the power, I guess he's kind of accepted his fate. <coughs> I mean, if people don't want to watch the advancement stuff, that's fine. It's, I can't make anyone do it. This was just part of the stream idea for today, because I wanted to do both. I typically do both, because it gives me a bunch of footage for like a couple weeks. Yeah, but the base with the mech, just to be an asshole. See what I can get, because he has one mech left, 12 units, another urban blight. He can't build anything at that point. Yep, just kind of gotta... I could just let it autoplay and just make it like a own, like, shh, watch it happen live. Which is a fun feature. I think it's... I like this feature. Because <laughs> also, this makes YouTube VODs. This is what the point of this is. This is, like, Wednesday videos. Ah! Yep, and that's that's the ball game. Even throwing my balcopter into him, just to build some charge and kill it if possible. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Yep. Like the city boost the shot. Yep, this is this is just sad watching now. Death. And then he goes, does he even do anything much? Not really, he moves things out and just bears. And there we go, he's eliminated by capture. So I want to see my stat. The how many... I feel 13 mechs. That's terrible. Wish I understood these, these map, these things more. That's terrible. 13 max. Ooh. 